good afternoon everyone in previous lecture we had seen an example wherein we compared two cases in case 1 machine a whose cost is 36000 and its uh, annual operating cost is 800 rupees for the first year and it kept on increasing by 8000 every year and for that we determined the best time period at when we have to replace the machine similarly we took the case 2 for that the machine cost is little bit higher which is 40000 compared to machine a which is 36000 and its uh, operating cost is 16000 for first year and it kept on increasing by 3200 rupees every year so if we compare case 1 with case 2 the machine cost of a machine is lesser than that of the machine b by 4000 rupees and uh, if we talk about the maintenance cost every year machine a charges 80000 rupees 8000 rupees and it kept on increasing okay, okay? and machine b is charging 32000 rupees every year and it kept on increasing 3200 every year so it uh, the we can say that machine a cost capital cost is lesser than that of the machine b however machine b is having lesser maintenance cost than compared to the machine a so these are the case that we have uh, considered in previous session and for that we got the solution which you already have and here you can see the solution so this is the solution wherein uh, if we talk about only machine a then machine a should be replaced at third year and machine b should be replaced at fifth year so these are the comparison that we made but in this case up to this machine a is compared to its own over the n number of years and machine b is compared to uh, its own cost over the n number of years now if we wanted to compare machine b with machine a then we must observe that at at this point at certain year the average cost is 16000 okay after the next year it is it kept on increasing so we are replacing machine b at this year with replace to and we have to replace it with a machine but when when the running cost running cost is lesser than that of the average cost so machine a should be replaced at second year as compared to machine b as for the third year we have to pay 16800 rupees as a part of maintenance cost so rather than uh, wasting the money on running cost it is advantageous to utilize that amount for the purchasing of the new machine because machine b uh, machine b is operation cost per year is 16000 so rather than investing that 16000 on maintenance cost why don't we use it for average cost so that is what the previous case scenario uh, in that example and the next example which we about to start is here here you can see the data is such that uh, we are having machine a was operating cost per year and its resale value is been given this time instead of scrap value the resale value has been given and the capital cost of the machine a is 10000 rupees and operating cost that you can see it is 15000 for uh, first year second year it would be 1900 likewise it kept on increasing up to 5500 and scrap value resale value can be in decreasing order starting with first year 5000 rupees to ending with 400 rupees for the last which is seventh year so find out first what would be the optimum period for the replacement i will be leaving it to you so that you will be starting then i will start the second part okay so this is the first part wherein you have to find out uh, at when we have to replace machine a or equipment a 
find out that i will be helping you for the first year similarly you can adapt it for the so next reset year. for the first year running or operating cost is 1500 okay so you can get cumulative such this then the scrap value uh, here we have been given in data that uh, the capital cost is 10000 and the scrap value is for the first year it is 5000 so we have to enter it 5000 the depreciation cost the depreciation cost is nothing but it is a difference of 10 sorry for the interruption let me start with the beginning for the first year and second year i will be helping you to calculate for the first year running or average cost is 1500 that you can see it is 1500 so i would be pasting that in here second uh, it is scrap value scrap value is uh, the difference uh, sorry scrap value is given which is 5000 rupees which is resell value then depreciation cost has been given depreciation cost is like the uh, difference between capital cost and uh, the scrap value so it is 10000 minus 5000 which is 5000 then after total cost would be like it is the 5000 plus which is the depreciation cost plus cumulative running cost which is uh, 1500 so 5000 plus 1500 which is 6500 rupees and 6500 rupees divided by the number of years so it, we are calculating it for the first year that is why it is 6500 divided by 1 now for the second year the running cost is 1900 the running cost is 1900 and Cumulative cost would be the summation of these two. Since we are cumulating for this first and second year, so we have to cumulate you, it is 3400. Scrap value is 2500 for the second year that you can see from the table. Okay. Now, uh, the depreciation cost is the capital cost, which is 10,000 uh, minus resale value, which is 2500. So it is 7500. Then after total cost, total cost is nothing but the summation of depreciation cost, which is 7,500 plus the cumulative cost, which is 3,400. So the in total, it would be 10,900. Now the average cost is how much? Average cost is the total cost divided by the number of year. So we are calculating it for the second year. So it is total cost would be as much 10,900 divided by two which is 5450 likewise uh, prepare the table and find out uh, the year at which we have to replace machine or uh, instrument a i will be leaving it to you and you have to answer it on the chat box that at what year you will be replacing the machine Our scrap value would be similar as of resale value because whatever we are getting as a part of resale that would be equivalent to the scrap. Okay. I want everyone to reply me on the chat box.
so far i have received uh, five to six replies uh, and most of them are correct okay now on chat box i have defined a particular name for the third year jigar will fill the table for fourth year nilay will fill the table fifth year nitin sixth year aman and seventh year pratik will fill the table so unmute your mic ear ear wise and help me fill the table nilay yes sir hello hello third row is a uh, 2300 running cost in a uh, resale value scrap value 1250 Pratik, unmute your mic and answer it, please, so that we can discuss the matter and we can fill the table, and everyone can see. Third. Hello. 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 hello what about the other students which i have mentioned nilay nitin and aman hello hello sir my answer is 4542 hello sir Fifth year running cost are uh, three six double zero. Scrap value is six four hundred. Hello. Hello. Yes. 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 Which fifth year, year running course? Uh, See, first uh, let me know your name and which Nitin. column are you filling in? Fifth. Fifth. Yes. Okay. For the six double zero running course. Six zero right. Is running course and uh, strap value is uh four hundred four double zero four hundred. Hundred right, and cumulative cost yes. will be the summation of all these years. So until and unless we are filling the third and fourth year, we are not able to get the correct answer, right? Hello. Yes. Sir, I have given answer uh, for third year. Yes. Bol na ekko kar paacho jigar. सर हूँ नहीं सर बीजू को Okay, then fourth match is so scrap value. Uh, scrap value is six hundred four fourth, and for running cost would be two thousand nine hundred. Two thousand nine hundred. Two thousand five nine hundred. Okay. okay, now what about sixth row? Pistari so. Okay. Four thousand five hundred sir. Four thousand five hundred. And the scrap value is four hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred. And for here it will be five thousand five hundred. Five thousand five hundred. So, okay, okay. sir, four five four two. Ave. Ah, that's fine. Not an issue because here we are uh, approximating decimals. That's four why. Four five four two. Yeah, that would be fine.
Okay. So at which year we supposed to change the machine? Patu ke gala gatu. Sir, after six year. After. Sir, five year. After five year. After five year. After fifth year. Sir, after sixth year also. For the sixth year, uh, the operating uh, average or running cost is four three eight, which is greater than four thousand three hundred and sixty rupees. So we must replace the machine at after five year. At the end of fifth year. So just mention the note in your class notes that at the end of fifth year, we must change the machine A. Okay. So up to uh, is it clear to all of you till now? Now uh, let us see the other half part of the data. Now uh, see if uh, we have solved up to this. What is the optimum period for replacement of the equipment A that we have seen? Now, suppose if when equipment A is two years old, equipment A is two years old, and we are having an equipment B which is new model for the same usages that you are seeing on the screen. Okay, so we are having equipment B which is the uh, two years fresher than of the equipment A. But the users table is same that you can see on the table. Now we have to find out the optimum period for sorry uh, the optimum period for the replacement is four year, and average cost for the machine B is thirty six hundred rupees per year. Now we must decide that whether we need to change the machine A with machine B. Okay, yes or no? And if yes, then when? Now let me repeat one more time the data that now up till now we have solved the case with aging of the machine. Now we have to introduce another machine after two years usage of the equipment A. Okay. And the machine B is newer version of the equipment A. Now we have to find out whether we should change the equipment A with equipment B. If yes. Then when and if no, then we don't need the reason because we are continuing with the machine A. And for the data, we have been given the optimum period for the replacement is four year and average cost is thirty six hundred. Okay, so we have to start with. our calculation so we have to start our calculations from the third year the running uh, uh, the running cost for the third year is 2300 for the next year it is 2900 uh, then after it is 3600 for the fifth year and then after 4500 and 5500 for the last year so we are just keeping the first two years from this table we are just entering this value from the table now we have to find out the depreciation cost now in this case depreciation cost would be a bit change why because previous year depreciation cost would be this much and current year depreciation cost would be this much so in depreciation cost we must take the difference of this two Current year with respect to previous year. So that is how we can get the depre exact depreciation cost. Since for this case, we are not having the capital cost. Okay. So how we are getting it? We are getting it from the difference of the previous year minus the result value of the current. So that is how we can get. Now for this fourth year, can anybody tell me how much is the depreciation cost? What would be the depreciation cost for the fourth year? 650. Yes, it is 650. And how we were getting it? Because it is the previous year, which is third year, minus current year, which is fourth year. So it is 650. 
then after for the fifth year it would be 600 minus 200 and what about sixth year and seventh year zero, zero no change zero zero sir so and zero because we are not getting any depreciation then after okay so that is how we are getting it now the total cost would be how much it is the summation of total cost would be the summation of depreciation cost which is 12500 plus the sorry just just a moment hello b table ma apna b b sum ma cumulative cost upar thi apne depreciation cost made ne cumulative cost ne cumulative upar thi apne depreciation ne made depreciation kya thi marse depreciation cost is see if you can see in here depreciation cost is the difference between capital cost and the uh, current year's uh, resale value that is scrap value okay getting it so it is uh, depreciation cost yes. uh, is nothing but the uh, capital value Uh, it is uh, depreciation cost would be C minus S. Okay, so it is C stands for capital value and S stands for scrap value. So it is a difference of that. And if you can see on table A, if you can see depreciation cost would be 10,000 minus first year maintenance cost, which is 5,000. So it is 5,000. For second year, it is 10,000 minus 2,500. So it is in that way. Getting it now? Hello, are you getting it or not? Okay, now after that, we have to find out total cost. Yes, sir. Okay, now the total cost is equivalent to the summation of depreciation cost and the running cost okay now for that total cost is how much total cost is depreciation cost plus running cost so it is 3550 now for the second it is uh, 2900 plus 650 for the third it is 3600 plus 200 for the next year it would be 4500 same and for the next year it is 5500 same so these are the way by which you can calculate the total cost it is a summation of running cost and depreciation cost now cumulative total cost in cumulative total sir cost, your voice is not clear hello hello am i audible Our voice is not clear. Hello. Hello. Am I audible now? Hello. Hello. Okay, sir. Yes. So, uh, so far we had calculated total cost and after that cumulative total cost would be the summation of the cumulation. So, for first year it is 3550, for the next year it is the summation of current year plus the summation of previous year. For this year it is summation of all these three year, for this it is summation of again all these Three year and for this it is summation of all the five years seven six then five then four and then third
okay so it is like this now average cost now for average cost the number of years the number of years it passes so it is divided by 1 it is divided by 1 now since it is a second year for the second machine so it is total cumulative cost divided by the second year for this it is divided by third year for this it is divided by fourth year and for this it is divided by fifth year so here if you are seeing that now can anyone tell me at when we have to replace the machine any idea sir after fourth year sorry 3600 second year so it kept on increasing right i'm a so, second year yes uh, now uh, that is the right way okay um, and why um, can i ask that why we are not changing the machine at the first year Sir, average running cost same real. Average running cost is? Same. same. Yes, exactly. Average running for cost first is and second year. So if we use it for first year and if we use it for second year, we won't need to spend extra money. So why don't we use for one more year, right? So that is why we are replacing the machine A by 2 at the second year but here the reason is little bit different and for that let me show the data one more time in data it has been given that in data we have given that the average cost of machine is 3600 rupees average cost of the machine is 3600 rupees so for the uh, now let me show the table So in this table, uh, we have to select the years after which it crosses the 3600 rupees. So for this case, if I could say it is less than 3600, for this year also it is less than 3600, but for this year it is greater than 3600, which is the average co annual cost for the machine B. So that is how, uh, since uh, here the behavior is getting changed, so we must take the decision and replace the machine A by machine B. So that would be the answer. Okay. Any doubt within this? If you are having any doubt, please unmute your mic and discuss so that we can clarify it. Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, sorry, last 3600 uh, was In data, uh, we have been given that the uh, average running cost per year is 3600. Okay. So let me say that uh, for this machine, if uh, the data is like uh, 2300. Okay, now let us say, for example, we are getting the answer uh, as of this 2300 for first year, for second year it is 2200, for third year it is 2100, and for fourth year it is 2500 and 2700. So, based on context, we can say that we must change the machine at which year? Third year. Am I right? Yes, sir. Okay, because the behavior shows that this behavior changes after third year. So we must change the machine at the third year. But uh, if we wanted to replace machine A with machine B, then we don't need to replace it because the average running cost of machine B is 3600 rupees from the statistical data. Now, until and unless uh, that uh, machine A cost increases beyond 3600 
then and then we must change the machine A with machine B. So for our case, for the first year it is three five five zero for second year and sometimes and also let us say if is for this case if you are getting it three four zero zero, will you change it at third year or not? Are you getting my answer? Yes, sir. Tamil ji, now ki do sir, we'll change it after third year because from fourth uh, it is thirty-eight, fifty-eight. Yeah, and thirty-eight right? is greater than the current average running cost of machine B. So it crosses thirty-six hundred. That is how we have to change. But again, if it is thirty-two hundred and here it is thirty-one hundred, now what would be the answer? so we won't change right because it's less than 3600 yes and that is what if you read the data carefully in data it has been given so now what is the data should we change the equipment with b okay so mm -hmm. the example that you have sold okay, so yes and the after modification of the data which by me it is no okay so if yes then we have to give justify why because it crosses 3600 100 rupees and that is how we have to change otherwise we don't need to is it clear yes i understood okay. thank you anyone else having any doubt okay now i would like to give one example for you guys let me change the data and mean uh, same way you have to solve it okay so if you wanted to take screenshot uh, i will be waiting for you to take screenshot and then after i will change the table okay so just take a screenshot if you want to otherwise i am just changing the data and i am giving you one example to solve is it done okay here are your the here are the new data for you capital cost is given as the first year i am just showing the value so that if anyone left out the session they can have it so it is 3000 scrap value for the first year is 10000 that is what the average cost which is 13000 per year and we have to compare with 7200 We have to find out in the second table the values which are greater than seventy to one hundred, which is the average running cost of machine B.
if you are having any doubt unmute your mic and you can ask me i will be happy to help you and if you are having any calculation issues just put that on chat box or unmute your mic Can anyone tell the answer for the first table, table A? Hello, sir. May I? Yes, sure. Uh, sir, second cell mouse is 3800 running cost. Okay. Cumulative 6800. Okay. And scrap value 5000. Yes. So depreciation would be fifteen thousand, mm -hmm. and uh, total cost would be thirteen one three six double zero. There are the so total? total cost for the second. I think you did the mistake. Sir. How much? Just a minute, sir. 
Yeah, yeah, sir. Yes, fifteen thousand plus six eight double zero. That's twenty one eight hundred total yeah. cost second month. Yes, we are getting it. Divide by two. That's ten thousand nine hundred. Yes. Um, sir, third new call. Ah, uh, bolo. Sir, forty six hundred running cost. Okay. Uh, then uh, eleven thousand four hundred would be cumulative. Okay. Scrap value is twenty five hundred, and uh, depreciation is seventeen thousand five hundred. Okay. So total cost would be twenty eight thousand nine hundred. Okay. Let me check. And uh, average cost is uh, nine thousand six hundred thirty-four. Twenty-five hundred. And here it is. Sir, third month forty-six hundred. Che running cost. Okay. Forty-six hundred, and here it would be twenty-five. Yes, yes. and scrap value is twenty-five hundred. Hmm. So seventeen thousand five hundred. Yeah, done. Hmm. Likewise, if we put the value for um, this, eight hundred seventy-two hundred nine thousand and eleven thousand. Nine thousand, eleven thousand. Okay, so uh, which year you are getting? At which year are we supposed yes. to see the machine? Yes, uh, sir. Uh, sir, we solved. After. Sorry, hello. After five years, sir. After fifth year, it must be change. So yes, we, have, we must put the comment. Okay. So just put the value uh, or comment uh, in the comment so that uh, whenever you are reading the examples, you will be able to. I have the answer. Okay, machine should be changed after fifth year. Then, now same way, if we put the values for the third year, for the third year, running cost is how much? Forty six hundred. And now let me erase this table. It is. Forty-six hundred, fifty-eight hundred for the fourth year. Next year it would be seventy-two hundred. Then after it is nine thousand, and then after it is eleven thousand. Okay, so we are calculating in that sense. Now, depreciation cost for third year. It is five thousand minus twenty-five hundred. So it is uh, the same. Then after. It is twenty five hundred minus twelve hundred, which is thirteen hundred. Then twelve hundred minus eight hundred, which is four hundred. And the fourth uh, for the next years, it is eight hundred minus eight hundred and eight hundred minus eight hundred, which are zero four five six and six seven zero, right? So and total cost we can see the total cost is the summation of both of this. So it is forty six hundred plus twenty five hundred, which is seventy one hundred. So likewise, if we put that value, and we can see that uh, the cumulative cost is such for first year, it is seventy-one hundred. For second year, it is the summation of uh, both of this. So it is. Seventy-one hundred. Uh, there is some mistake in the table. Likewise, we are getting the value, right? So, if you are using Excel, make sure that you are uh, you are not making either equations or uh, making it perfect equation. Okay, otherwise you might get some false answers. Now, can anybody tell us uh, at what time it is better to change the machine? At when we suppose to change machine A with machine B? 
if the average running cost of machine B is seventy two hundred. Third year. At which year? Sir, after second year. After second year, the machine should be replaced. Okay. But after second second year for what? Second year for this. So it is one, two, three, four, and five. So it is uh, we supposed to change the machine uh, for this case it is B and for machine A it is the fifth year. Before starting fifth year, we must change because for fifth year the average running cost is seven to six five or seven to six seven. Are you getting it? Hello. Hello. Am I audible? Yes. Yeah. So we must replace the machine at this location. Okay. Otherwise, it looks like the uh, second year. But uh, if we compare it with this table, then it must be the fourth year. Okay. Now replace the machine A at fourth year, since uh, at fifth year the value is six two seven two six seven seven thousand two hundred and sixty seven rupees. So we must replace the machine A at fourth year. Oh, sorry, uh, after using of fourth year and just before fifth year. Okay. So that's it from my side for today's session. If you are having any doubt. Please call. Uh, please put that on chat box. Otherwise, put attendance on it. And let me revise what we did today. In today's example, we compare machine A with the uh, machine A after two years using of machine A. We are comparing it with the existing data of machine A, and we are replacing machine A after two years with machine B. So, whether it is feasible to change machine A with B or not. That is what the case uh, we discussed to on today's session. Okay, so here you must write at the end that machine A must be replaced after using fourth year and just before fifth year. So that is what the final answer is. Put your attendance on the chat box, and that's it from my side. Have a nice day.